In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to actually create a dashboard. So first off, from your compass, ensure that you are in the 3D dashboard application. And once that has loaded, we can move on to adding a new one. So you can do this in a couple of ways. One, if we open up our dashboard list, we can select the Add Dashboard. Or from the Add selection in your menu bar at the top, you can select the Add Dashboard option as well. Either of these options will create a dashboard pop-up. So let's go ahead and select Create an Empty Dashboard and give it a name. So once you have this entered in, we'll go ahead and select Create. When you select Create, it will open up a blank dashboard in which you will have a new tab and no widgets. So before adding widgets to our dashboard, let's understand the difference between an app and a widget. So first, let's distinguish between in our app list where some of these have arrows in the top right and some of them do not. For example, 3D Dashboard does not have an arrow in the top right, whereas 3D Drive does have an arrow. The applications with arrows have added widget functionality. So an application provides the full functionality of the code and a widget is an extension of the application that allows you to use it, for example, on a dashboard. So if I was to click on 3D Drive, this will open up the application. Whereas if I was to click and drag this, onto the dashboard, the widget would be added to the dashboard, which provides the same functionality, but is just an extension of the application itself. Now, if I was to try to click and drag an application without widget functionalities, it would not be able to go on the dashboard. So that leads into the next point. Adding a widget to the dashboard is truly as simple as just clicking and dropping it onto your dashboard. Once it's there, you can click to click on a corner to drag and resize, which will automatically move any other widgets currently on the screen. And you can add whatever widgets you'd like to uh, serve the purpose of the current tab that you have. You can click and drag the position of the widget to organize how you would like it. And as the page gets longer and longer with a list of widgets in your dashboard, you will be able to scroll. Now this can be quite messy as you start to put more and more widgets on here. So one option that we have is in the tab, you can select the menu icon. This will create a drop down where you will see options for share, rename, duplicate, refresh, fit, and delete. So if you were to select fit, this will extend the widgets out so that they fill the entire dashboard screen. These will now be interactive with each other. So as I extend or retract one widget, the others will fill in the space that would have been uh, provided by that extension or retraction. With this, whatever widgets are on the screen are the entire dashboard tab. I cannot scroll with this option. So if you have a plan for a dashboard tab in which you would like to have a large number of widgets, you likely should keep it set as scroll. Having this will allow you to add more and more widgets underneath. So when you have a widget in the dashboard, you have a couple of options with each type of widget. You can share the individual widget, duplicate, refresh, full screen, delete, or receive more information with the help. When you select full screen, it will take up the entire screen. And then to escape, you hit Shift F11. Maximizing allows you to enter a near full screen experience, but you can always exit this quickly by selecting Restore. Minimize will draw the widget up so that it's just the title of the widget itself. Certain widgets may have their own preferences in which you can change any settings according to that uh, availability of their settings in the application. Now, if you have 
multiple tabs that you would like to create. The only thing you have to do to add a new tab is select the plus button next to the current existing tab and it will create a new tab in which you have a new sheet of space to add any widgets for a specific function. Under each of these tabs you will have a menu button in which you will have share, rename, duplicate, refresh, fit as we've already discussed and delete. Share will share this tab with one specific or multiple specific users depending on um, who you enter into the to field and you can enter a message that they will receive when you share it with them. Rename will allow you to rename the tab and an alternative option for this is to just select the current name and it will highlight in blue and you can enter in your new name. Duplicate will create a duplicate tab with the same existing widgets in the exact same layout. Refresh will refresh all of the current widgets on the page and this can be very useful when you're dealing with uh, 3D Drive or 3D Play and you need to update the data within them. Fit, as we've already discussed, will change the format of your current uh, dashboard view. And delete will delete the tab in its entirety. As for the entire dashboard itself, we can select the drop down arrow and you have options for share, edit, duplicate, manage, delete, and story. Share will share with the users of your choice just as we saw with the widget. Edit will edit the name and description of the dashboard. Duplicate will create a duplicate dashboard. Manage will bring up the dashboard management which we've already discussed a little bit. But something to note between share and add members is sharing a dashboard with members sends them a copy. Now this is not a synchronized dashboard anymore. So if you share a dashboard with somebody and then make changes to your version of the dashboard, they will not see these changes. Now by adding members, they become a member of that dashboard in particular. So if you add a member and then you make changes, they will see those changes. So keep that in mind moving forward. It's very important that you, if you would like them to see the updates, that you don't just share them. You have to add them as a member. Delete will delete the dashboard in its entirety. And story will add a story to the dashboard. So I have thrown a couple of widgets onto this screen to show you the functionality of story because this is not the same as the 3D story that we have gone over already. This is not to create a slideshow based presentation. So if we select add a story, a window will pop up in the middle in which you can enter the story title and story description. These stories are best used when describing how to use or properly utilize a dashboard. Once you've entered a title and description, you can select the add step button in the top right and you will have to select between either adding a new tab or the current existing tab. And this is not to actually complete the action of adding a new tab. This is just to create a new step in the story. So for example, if I was to select new tab, the story will move to there and you can enter a step description and how to use this. Once you have entered a description, you, you may notice that there will be a number of bubbles here now. This is for however many steps there are in the story and the blue bubble is the step that you're currently on. You can go back to the previous step, add a new step, or delete the current step. Once you have given a label to a tab, you can add another step and you'll be able to add a step to a specific widget. So to select a widget, you have to select the top bar of the widget where the name of the application is. And then you can add a step to a widget as well. Once you have entered in the number of steps that you would like, you can finish by selecting save and the story will be saved and you can close out of it with the X button in the top right. Now, if you would ever like to view this story, it can be viewed by selecting the menu drop down, going over to story and selecting the story by the title that you had named it. This will uh, bring up an overlay in which you can walk through the story. So as I said, this is a great tool if you are sharing or adding a member to a dashboard. This will allow them to have instructions on how to properly utilize each tab and widget.